What's going on guys, Bengal again here, back with a video on the second channel. I've been a little bit busy with the main channel. Some of you didn't even know I had a main channel. Now you do, I guess. It's in the description if you're interested in football and Madden stuff. But back on MLB, new 99 Mad Camp. And of course, I'm using him in Battle Royale since I have no capability of playing above All-Star difficulty. He looks really good. If we check him out here, let me go ahead and turn off my camera. The speed, stealing, base runner aggressiveness, pretty good. He's not awful in the field, although he's not exceptional there. Once you get him paralleled all the way up, you get 90 plus fielding, 80 plus reaction. He should be pretty good out there with the speed. Right now, he's not going to be amazing. There are better options. Probably more suited to a corner roll, but once you get him paralleled up, you probably want to keep him in center in order to keep the fielding and reaction up as high as possible. But now that we're talking about that, let's talk about the hitting. It's amazing. Amazing contact against both sides, really, 109 and 119 against righties and lefties. And then power, 102 against righties, 125 against lefties. Matt Kemp is unreal. Got the 95 Lau, 90 Eric Haas, Kiebert, or excuse me, Kbert Ruiz, Xander Bogarts, Xander Bogarts, get well soon, Jerry Remy, and Austin Riley, Reese Hoskins, Hunter Bishop. It's a pretty good team. I like the new format. This is probably my first video once they actually change the format of BR, we get multiple diamonds out here. But I'm excited. Let's get underway. And hopefully Matt Kemp goes off on all-star pitching. Some subs as well. So let me go ahead and... Oh, that's a sick guess in Thailand, by the way. That's unbelievable. 33 miles away. That's sick. And the team we are playing is... The Louisville Cardinals. You got Luis Perdomo on the mound. Not the best team I've ever seen. He does have home field advantage. I saw a big poopy. Hopefully he doesn't shit on me in the cleanup spot. 96 and 92. Now, I'm going to lose. I'm going to tell you that in advance. It's going to be a terrible debut video. So make sure you subscribe for more MLB The Show content. I mean, we just got a pitch right down the middle with Matt Kemp. I just didn't get the bat around. That was a pitch to hit. <laughs> right down the middle. I'm never going to get a hit on it. You'd be surprised how hard it is to come back to MLB The Show after not playing. I feel like... You can't see pitches. Everything's super fast. That is just MLB The Show 21 in a nutshell, though. But this is all-star. Just not reading anything right now. Could take me a little while to get back in the swing of things. Eric Haas, don't be a line out, please. Guaranteed. Splitter. Basically middle in. Wrong side of perfect. Automatic out. We're back. I miss MLB The Show so much. I love this game. And strike three. He's going to get to first base on this. I swear. I hate to come back and complain, but this stuff never happens for me. It's always against me. Struck him out, and there he is sitting on first base. It should be out number three, though. And it is. All right, we need some runs. Matt Kemp, if all goes well, will bat this inning. I know we're only at fourth in the order, but if we get hot a little bit, get a few hits, and my batting average in BR all year is like 430 or something so if we can just raise that to 500 for this inning oh matt Kemp, matt Kemp, matt Kemp. yeah dude that's his name matt Kemp will easily come back up to the plate we just need a few hits and that is gonna be one k Bert ruiz shoots that one in a right good start and uh now she is uh xander bogach i'm out of practice and my my throat just can't tolerate that voice for too long. I need to get into the habit of ripping a bunch of cigs, and then I'll probably be able to do that voice no problem. First third. Oh, we could have been back pick, but we have runners on first and third. Nobody out. Austin Riley at the plate. This is a three-run home run waiting to happen. I just need to stay in the slider. I was super early on it. I'm trying to sit back, and I'm late. And that one's going to be down the line. Third baseman got in front of it. And they're going to try and turn two, and they're not going to be able to. Austin Riley got down the line fairly well. Sinker just got on top of it. Don't be a double play. What is that? His shortstop did the splits. He didn't throw it back onto first base. What is happening? What is happening in this game, dude? His shortstop is like Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four with the elastic legs. What is that, dude? It's a groin tear for me very easily. 
He gets in front, makes a play. The second baseman couldn't even believe what happened. He couldn't even get the throw over. Here's Hunter Bishop. So he intentionally walks. Didn't want anything to do with Jake Diekman. Well, I'm going to take Jake Diekman out. I'll give him his wish because Travis Shaw can absolutely go yard. I don't have the best bullpen in the world, but it also isn't terrible. Let me get Darren O'Day and Ryan Tapera up. Base hit here from Travis Shaw would be massive. Oh, that's a hittable pitch. That is true. It used to be the case where if you intentionally walked me, the next batter would be a home run almost no matter what. Clearly not even close to as good or automatic as they used to be. We're going to roll over. Easy out. I suck. And strike three. Grundle goes down. Use Monty Grindel strike out. Can we get the sinker just sit back? Now he's going to be a free swinger. He's going to be a free swinger. So we're just going to we're just going to have to keep throwing the ball off the plate. Man, I'm stuttering a lot. I need to get back into uploading it frequently, wheels. I'm in a bad spot. Double play. There's one. Back on a first double play out of the inning, holding the one nothing lead. Matt Kemp leads off. We almost got to him. Almost got to him in the second, which was the goal. We only scored one run. We went from 4th to ninth in the order and got one run to show for it. I need one with Matt Kemp here. He's going to leave Luis Perdomo in the game. We got a sinker down the middle last time. Not this time. I got to hit one out. Matt Kemp's swing was so good last year. And that's going to be a line drive over the third baseman's head and down the line. We're going to try and stretch to two. 87 speed can fly. And Matt Kemp has a hustle double on a line drive to left. Not a homer, but we'll take it. An extra base hit. An 87 speed, 92 stealing. Why do I want to get frisky here? Really bad jump. Really bad jump. Ceiling is so broken in this game. I'm going to get back to second, hopefully. Fly out. Hit and run! Matt Kemp's going to score easily. Eric Haas connects. Ripped that one. Probably would have been a line out if we didn't steal, to be honest. Brought the third baseman out of position. Over to the bag to cover. And that worked out perfectly. And Kiebert... I always say that. It's Kbert Ruiz. It's going to fly out. Xander Bongach flies out. All right, we got two. We got two. Matt Kemp responsible for half our runs. Pretty impressive. Who got off streaming? <laughs> Somebody did. I already know. It, it's not Kbert. It's Kbert. I looked into it. But game over. 2-0. Big time win for the boys. Kbert Ruiz with a big time single to start a rally in the second inning. And uh, Darren O'Day gets player of the game. All right. Game number two. Merrill Kelly's actually a really, really good starting pitcher in BR. Super underrated. I've loved Merrill Kelly the entire year. He is sinker cutter, which is a great combo to begin with. The guy's pretty good. 59 and 39, I guess. Is that going to be a hit? Tough play in the hole for the second baseman. And we got an out. Who do I even have at second base? Bogarts is short. Brandon Lau. That's a really nice play in the hole. A little rollover. Kbert all over that. Not always, but 3-0. We'll green light, of course. It's his debut. If I get a pitch to hit, we're not going to take a walk. And Matt Kemp drives that one back up the middle. Fastball. In a pretty good spot. We just stayed on it. Drove it right back up the middle. There's no shift for a hard ground ball hit back up the middle. Write that down. Brandon Lau! I, I can't really make up a fun rhyme for that. I'm sure there is one. Either way, two-run home run for Brandon Lau. From Lown Town. Way... I, I don't... I, it doesn't sound good. Anyway, two-run home run. We'll take it. Here we go, Kbert. Now, I looked into a uh, prospect video of an interview with Kbert Ruiz where I had to hear his name pronounced. Because it's like, is it K-Bear? Is it Keybear? Is it Kebert? I've heard so many different things, but Kbert Ruiz seemed to be what was said, and he seemed fine with it. So, get through. Ah, Bogat. Ground ball, double play, inning over. That's a big mistake. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. The fastball, if that's away, not a home run. Fastball got right down the middle. All he had to do was yank his PCI down. Wrong side of perfect, but it is at Chip It. 
So JD Martinez goes Apo Taco pretty easily. Yeah, knew that. Knew where that one was going to go. Knew what his timing was. Should be out number two, though. But a big home run. He cuts my lead right in half. And inning over. Not too bad. Made a mistake. Paid for it. It's all right. We'll get it back. Hitting 563 with him. Kind of had no idea about that. It's going to get even higher. Perfect, perfect. Hunter Bishop. Bomb. Change up down and in. That ball was hit really, really hard. 106 off the bat on a change up down and in. Went 450. And that's on a change up. <laughs> what a rip. It's like, that's not that impressive. <laughs> game over, though. 3 1 is your final. I'll play a third game. I still want Matt Kemp to go yard. That's my big goal. He's got on base. He's got some hits. It's time to do something more. This is his team. Tony Gonsolin on the mound. He's got Trey Turner, Ronald Acuna, 99 Soriano. A couple of goons. It's Joey Gallo's number. Oh, this guy's free swinging. First pitch of the game, sinker down and in. Never looked like a strike. This guy's ready to go. It's a really good swing, too. Unlucky for him. And another one. Two pitches, two outs. Hanger. Doesn't matter. Matt Kemp is going to sit underneath this one. And that should be the third out of the inning. Makes it all the way to the edge of the warning track. But zero runs allowed. Couple allowed outs, couple hard outs. But here's Matt Kemp against Tony Gonsolin, who really doesn't have great stuff in the game. And I'm still swinging first pitch and driving it back up the middle for a base hit with Matt Kemp. I'm going to try and take second. Matt Kemp, hustle double. You got to get the ball in faster than that. Oh, I'd be mad. I'd be mad if I allowed that. Brandon Loud does the job. Gets the runner over to third. And we're just a decently hit ball away from scoring Matt Kemp. Eric Haas. That one's going to score a run no matter what. Might be even a hit. And it is. Eric Haas with a big double. Matt Kemp scores. That's a little RBI for Haas. Sidestep didn't get me that time. Wasn't the best swing on it. But could have been worse. Just not seeing the ball as well as I need to. Xander Bogarts and shoots that one in the left. That's going to be an RBI for Xander Bogarts. It's a, that one's a little bit too high pitched. I got the nasally. I got the... got to work on it. Also, if you don't know Jerry Remy, again, get well soon. Battling cancer right now. Terrible. But uh, if, you, if you don't know that impression that I just seem like a crazy person, it, everything is a slide step. There it is. Austin Riley. No doubt about that one. Going to make it a 4-0 ball game. Doing his best Nick Castellanos impression. I don't know if I'm ever going to put this headset on again. And I butchered it. Oh, God. And it's not even Nick Castellanos, clearly. But it is a 4-0 ball game. Terrible. Terrible. Had an opportunity. Stuttered because I've never talked in front of a camera and a mic before. This guy doesn't think I'll go back to it. Little does he know. I'll go back to it. <laughs> all right so i threw a fastball to a guy who's only sitting fastball in hindsight bit of a mistake ground ball allow has plenty of time with 28 speed and we're gonna hold on to that 4-1 lead kemp there's just no shift for that just a hard ground ball it's gonna be a hit every time matt kemp plays the game the right way hit and run Oh, it doesn't even matter. Brandon Lau. Holy cow. Big time bomb. Right center. 6-1. Brandon Lau. He can mash a little bit. I'm throwing Travis Shaw. Pinch hitter. I don't think he did anything. But he's going to earn his value. Gets out number one. S slow curveball. Sinker. Every position player has his repertoire, by the way. They just throw three pitches, including a super slow curve and a sinker. Travis Shaw is unhittable. He's going to steal, and he's going to pop out to Bogach to end the game. 6-1's the final. Matt Kemp, um, you know, he plays the game the right way. Didn't offer me many home runs, but he just kind of hit the ball hard on the ground, and they... 
just kept finding holes, which is the name of the game. So that's going to be the Matt Kemp gameplay. Got five at bats, went four for five with two doubles, a couple hustle doubles. I mean, he's hitting 800. Can't be that bad. Just didn't really elevate the ball for me. Not that I took great swings in the ball anyway, but that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry, I haven't been uploading. I'm going to try and get more consistent. It's just been tough to manage with pumping out videos on the main channel. And then I obviously want to upload here still as well. So I'm going to try and get that going. Thank you guys for sticking with me. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Back to the house, defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud. Speed burst good.